Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file, and he already tried it and admitted it, that it he just couldn't get it to trace. I got it to work, but I don't even know how I did it, and I don't think I can reduplicate what I did, the steps I went through to get that shape. Uh, because it is a, a drawing, it's a PSD file on um, CMYK, which doesn't really matter one way or the other. But we need the shape of the guitar. And I did not trace it. I'm going to go to resample. It's at 300 because it's such a big drawing. Normally, I would reduce this in size because it will help Corel draw it. But this is so... I've never had a file that came in as the size it is, the drawing. And if I go from right there to right there and I'm just eyeballing it, we're at, we're only one one hundredth of an inch off from what it actually is. And so it's actually dead on. I just don't have that line to that line. So the drawing is perfect. And that's what you need I don't, to be honest with you, I don't know how I did it the first time. Because um, tracing it just doesn't. Let's try this. Let's make it, let's tr see what our nudge factor is. It's on 20 inches. Control D and make a duplicate of that guy. Take this one, go to bitmap. Convert to bitmap. And black and white just doesn't work. Let's try grayscale. And because it's a pretty big drawing, it's going to take just a second. And then go to trace bitmap, outline trace. We're going to try a line art. Oh, you know what? Let's try a low quality image. Because that's what it is. Let's see if it doesn't work. It's at 45%. It's done. It did pretty good. I'll put OK. And the reason I made a copy is we're going to need a copy anyway. But what's so neat about this, it did trace. Now we can go to object and ungroup it. Now let's see what happens when we try to delete some of this white. Wow, it's pretty good. You know what, this is gonna work. I don't know if this is how I did it the first time. So if, if you're the one I did this for, uh, it's just chance chance and error, um, but this is gonna work. Now remember we made a copy of it, but we have this white, but I think it's gonna leak because these lines go inside of it. So let's try this, let's try clicking on it. Yep, that doesn't work. Let's try to go to object. There's nothing done in group and it's, it's, um, you know what, let's just try this. Nope. So let's do this. Let's select everything and left click, no fill, right click outline. And that's gonna work. We've got a little bit of a hiccup right there, but that could be fixed. We've got a little bit of hiccup there and there. And that might be no, it's not on the drawing like that. And that doesn't bother me. So we can take a two-point line. Well, you know what? Let's delete this white. And let's uh, take a two-point line. All we're trying to do is get the shape of the guitar as close as we can. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Two-point line from that node to that node. And I had a little bit of a hiccup right here. We'll take the shape tool and delete those. Uh, we've got a little bit of a hiccup right here that goes in between there. So, and the to me, the shape of the guitar isn't that important because once we get it relatively close, we will be able to 
use it as a pattern. I think there's a couple more of those. It's just part, part lines that were in there. There's one more. Well, there's a couple more. And you could delete those lines. But like I said, if this doesn't interest you, just stop watching. I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you that you're gonna learn anything because I don't know that I'm learning anything. A <laughs> uh, few more hiccups, maybe. You know what, I'm gonna use the virtual segment delete key and I'm gonna delete that. Whoop, can't. Let's do this, let's take the shape. This is a trick. Let's get rid of all those nodes and then turn right click and turn that into a line and it cleared that up. We can do the same thing with that and same thing with that. So we've got the guitar shape and I think we don't have any leaks. So the best way to do this, and my nudge factor set on 20, I'm gonna get this out of the way a little bit more. I'm gonna draw a rectangle. And if I don't have any leaks, it'll just fill in the outside of the guitar body. Wow, look at that. That's good. Now I can left click, right click, and there's my, well, I've got one little hiccup. There it is right there. So we can do the same thing as one I missed. Let's delete all these, grab both those and right click and turn them into a line. Now we're a little bit off, but we're not, I don't think he's trying to use it for the guitar body itself. And there's a lot of ways to uh, double check that. I'm gonna actually go a step further. Whoop. Need to break the curve apart. And what's so nice about the nudge distance is I can put that body right back and I can put this right back. And you can see how close you are. And we're a little bit off right there, but I don't think he's using it for that. I think he's using it for hole placement. So then we still have a good detailed image. This is 0.84 of an inch. Take a circle, make it 0.84 with your, with your ratio locked. 0.84, mine is normally locked. And then put that in the center of the hole. And lower your nudge distance so you can kind of tweak that. Now, I don't see any dimensions. Well, I do too. So once you get this one tweaked, let's do this. This thing is, that hole is 2.69 inches from the other hole. So let's take and change our nudge factor to 2.69. We'll grab our circle, control D and make a duplicate. Whoop, and move it up, look at there. So if your first hole's good, your second hole should be good. Now this is 2.36 away. I'm gonna get rid of the yellow box. No, I've got it locked, so it doesn't matter. So remember, 2.36, 2.36, grab our circle, control D, make a duplicate. The next one should be right below that is 2.69, 2.69, control D, duplicate. I didn't make a duplicate. Control D and duplicate. So go along with your measurements. Now this one is two inches from the center. So change your measurement to two. This is why you would want that circle the first time to be perfect. But what is nice about this is that once they're, see we're a little bit off, but that's because we could be a little bit off here because of the drawing. So you would want to change your nudge distance to something minute like 0 0.001. And for the one I'm doing this for, I don't know what actually goes on with building this guitar. And you could do a lot of things here. We've got a center calibrator. You could maybe 
bring in that and tweak those lines. This might be the best way. And then take your circle and have make sure snap to guidelines is on and see if it won't snap to those guidelines. Now let's try, let's delete these other two circles. Because the drawing's perfect, let's change it to 2.69. Get our circle, delete or duplicate and move it. 2.36, we're a little bit off. That really doesn't make sense. You know what, let's try this. Let's move this line Let's control D, duplicate that line. So the drawing's either off a little bit. I just don't know how important these holes are for preciseness. You know, the drawing. Well, let's try this, and then I'm gonna give up. And the one I'm doing this for, I actually send you this file. See, that's 2.35, that ought to work. I'm a little disappointed in that. So let's, you know what? I put three nine is three six. 2.36, that makes me, I said it and then I'd still type the wrong thing. Let's see if this doesn't work. Control D and make a duplicate. Wow, right on the money. The next one is 0.2, two inches. Control D, that's a little bit off. Uh, you know, but they're in a straight line. Maybe the drawing is a little bit of an angle. Now this, I do not understand this. You know how that's outside. Uh, but you emailed me, so I'm going to send you this file and you can play around with it. I'm sorry if I waste anybody else's time, but thank you for watching.